this Tory Lanez drama is going on right now and so many perspectives and sides are coming out, but what is the truth? Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. Click that button for daily consistent videos. I would massively appreciate it. And follow me on my Instagram, Murad and Morali, if you guys want to. Darker skinned women always get removed from videos or they are put, pushed to the side or they are unfortunately, you know, he speaks out, what, what, he, what he says exactly is this. This is an ongoing problem in our community of entertainment that needs to stop. As a black man, sometimes I'm going to joke about the black community just like we all do. But what I'm not going to do is allow any of the directors to devalue our black women. Countless times I've seen directors swap out our women of colour for women of lighter complexion or women with straighter hair. It is our responsibility as artists to stand up and not let this happen. It's been time to embrace our women of colour. Hashtag black is beautiful. Now I feel like this particular kind of message that he's putting out is obviously very good and I feel like it's definitely needed from all artists irrespective of, irrespective of what colour you are. Everybody needs to speak up about it, period. However, we have an update to the, to the situation where we now have somebody who says dark skinned chicks says Tory Lanez lied about the whole thing and that he barely even spoke to her. She claims Tory asked for the other girl to be there and only gave her compliments. And the conversation goes, hey, this is Tory Lane's thing. Is this fake news? And she's like, yep, he wants it in the video. So what happened? Can you tell me what led him to making this post? Tory Lane's asked for both me and the light skinned girl to do solo shots. When it was her turn, he said, cut the video to make it appear as if it had something to do with race. I know that the, the director's very well. Interesting. And they have made me the lead girl in that video and many others. He actually never spoke to me about on set and he kept telling her how beautiful she was. Wow, I posted on Twitter, 1 million views. Did he at least let you guys know he was doing this? No, I didn't know. What did you post the video? I, didn't, I don't know why y'all believe the first video anyways, but this is the same dude who was on the boat in Miami saying that no dark skin chicks are allowed. Tory Lane staged that colorism of narrative in the video only to clear his act and only make himself look good because he said he traded Aisha Curry for the white woman twer twerking. Um, this Tory Lane's publicity stunt really speaks to how black men are aware of colorism towards black women but still chose to act like we're crazy and like they don't play a major part in it. Using black women as tools whenever they need is disgusting. Um, and then somebody says, but how is the video edited and watermarked? Publicity's done, he tried it, I still like the stance though. Um, and then somebody says, but this video and song with Nate Smalls dropped on Thursday and he hasn't posted about it once. When was he going to post up and support it? He didn't even put the song in the name of the caption. This particular scandal is going on. The reason why I thought I'd bring it to this channel is because I do speak about colorism periodically on this channel quite a lot. If you guys don't know about it, please check my videos out on my channel because I do speak about it and I feel like anybody needs to, period, regardless of what colour you are. The more people speak about it, the more awareness it can bring. However, this particular scandal I find to be very interesting because now somebody is using a narrative to their own positive kind of, you know, advantage and I feel like that is where things get very scary. Very similar to this whole Sudan situation. What's going on in Sudan is disgusting and it's horrible and it's very, very sad. However, people are now making fake Sudan accounts to try to say, if, any, if everyone likes this picture, we'll donate X amount to money only turning out for it to be completely fake and they actually aren't. And that's been going around too and I've seen a lot, of, a lot of stuff on Twitter. So I feel like people are using negative, user, people are using positive um, storylines to their situations and to try to make it benefit them which therefore makes it negative. And I feel like that in itself is very sad. Like I don't, I don't, I don't even have time to you know say how bad it is. It's just sad. Like it's just so so sad for people to be doing that. The other girl, Nave Smalls, um, says she speaks out and says, So I'm the other model in the behind the scenes footage on the Tory Lane shoot. I'm not sure where people are going, it was staged, but it wasn't. They are, t they are talking the most amount of S. No one was in that room or even allowed in the room other than me, myself, Rose Swag, the dark skin model, stylist, production team, and the director. Alicia was not in that room. The video was shot on the 6th of April in South London. Troy wasn't really happy with any of the models cast, if I'm honest, and he was showing signs that he wasn't happy with the other dark skin. He wasn't showing signs. Although on this occasion, the original post from this page is exactly what happened, except it wasn't the director who tried to stop me for the dark skin model, it was someone else. And Troy did stop what happened because he said it would look bad on him if he swapped a dark skin model for like someone. Okay, Tori then said I can't do my black sister like that, but you are beautiful and she was put back on the set. Then he later spoke to me off set and apologised again and explained why he couldn't do it. Whether he has good intentions or not, he still stopped it for that reason. It definitely wasn't staged, even by looking at the face on the camera, you can tell he was confused and didn't know what was going on. The reason why the dark skin model was swapped was because his body language portrayed he wasn't happy. Wow. Like, what is going on? The plot is thickening, so much is going on. The people, the comments are going crazy. People are saying she was paid to say this. 
I don't even know. People saying it's embarrassing. People saying Tori is a colorist. What is going on? Do you guys think Tori is a colorist? Are there any you know past situations where you think that he has been in and it's something that I've described? What are your thoughts on this situation? Do you think he's telling the truth or do you guys think it is staged or fake? Do let me know. I thought I would touch on it. Just you know, lightly tap into this video and lightly make a particular small video on it so we can begin a conversation about you know reiterating the importance of notions of colorism and how it ties down to Eurocentric forms of beauty. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe to my channel. Channel, click that button for daily consistent videos and follow me on my Instagram, Mirage underscore Morali, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.